Hey guys, so we're going to be exploring some more of the preset instruments with the Roly Studio Player playing with my Lumi Keys controller. So in this video, we're going to specifically be looking at preset instruments that were created with the Cypher 2 synthesizer um, that you can buy from Roly. But these are the preset uh, instruments that are included for free when you get the Lumi Keys. So a couple of things. Um, you'll notice that depending on how I release the note, so that's normal, but it's almost like the proximity of the release will introduce like this additional sound. The other thing that's interesting that I've noticed is certain instruments, um, they, you can only play one note at a time, right? But like if I hold down this E and then go to another note, the E is no longer playing. But when I release this note, it hits the E again without me having to strike the key. So you can kind of... So that's just kind of like an interesting thing I noticed as well. Some of these sounds have uh, arpeggiators kind of built in. And with the Lumi keys, you obviously get the pressure sensitivity. So as I press it down harder, it changes the sound. Let's try Planet Dog. Widens it up. Now, if we go to the main Roly Studio Player interface, um, there's also these smart chords here. So you can turn this on and just hit one note and it will play a chord. So that's really interesting with these arpeggiating instruments. Um, you know, you just hit one note, you can enable the smart chords, and it will play this really cool arpeggio. Let's try aluminum chimes. Blade Runner Brass. Let's try the smart chords of this. really cool so you can change the key as well so let's just switch it to E major let's go to like a minor so you can see the keys light up as well um, depending on the chord I think I haven't really explored this too much so like let's say we go to F major so it kind of shows you okay so here's the root You join this with an arpeggiator. And these keys up here change the octave. Brass soloist. Let's turn off these. Sometimes the sensitivity of the pressure is so extreme. Now, I know there are some adjustments you can make to the instrument, but you can change the tone, flutter. So this is kind of like a two parameter um, adjustment. So it's got two dimensions to it. You can adjust the flutter going up and down. You can adjust the tone going left to right. 
but I don't know if there's a way to. Yeah, there's got to be a way to adjust the sensitivity. Audio settings. No. Oh, you you must have to go into. Um, there's another part of the Rolly. So Rolly dashboard. Yeah, this has got to be where you can adjust. So, so yeah, the Rolly dashboard is where you can kind of control the feedback, the sensitivity of everything. So I haven't even, I haven't dived into this yet. Um, you can, you can do different uh, color schemes um, and kind of set different uh, presets for changing through different modes. I think this button right here kind of bring you through the different modes. So you can kind of configure the modes how you like. So yeah, so now... I just press the button. Now I'm in this kind of yellow mode, uh, keyboard mode, rainbow. So a bunch of different modes you can kind of configure here. But anyways, I, I did, I do find certain, certain instruments are just way too sensitive. Let's try this. <laughs> Ground explosion rumble. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> See, this has like that release effect as well. Hang drum. This has a really interesting. I don't think all this aftertouch or lift. Okay. I'm just reading this down here. Kind of describes. Yeah, so it's called lift when you when you pick up the key quick. And of course, uh, the Lumi has pitch bend as well. So you can wiggle the key back and forth. So you get the pressure. 
the wiggle for pitch bend, and some instruments have the release uh, parameter as well. All right, guys, so that's enough playing around with the Cypher 2 uh, preset pack. Um, I'm going to do some more videos with some of these other presets that are included uh, if you want to explore some of the other sounds. And let me know if you have any questions about the Lumia. I'd be happy to do another video kind of uh, highlighting anything you have questions about. And uh, other than that, that's going to do it for this video. If you haven't seen my other videos on the Lumia, definitely check those out as well. But uh, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.